With dispensaries under attack, medical marijuana patient Susan Smeltzer refills her supply in case the ban passes. Hi, Susan. Hi, Reese. How are you? How are you doing today? There are certain things that I, I really like, and I'd like to try and, and get some of those just in case the, uh, you know, vote doesn't go our way. Right. It's election day here in Fort Collins. It looks like it's going to be a, a, a close battle here. If Fort Collins bans medical marijuana dispensaries, it will become a lot harder for me because I won't have access to the, the variety of strains that I need. White Widow, it, it's a it's nice sativa. Uh, I've tried it before, and so I'm going to start stocking up on some of my favorite strains. I'm trying to be very optimistic, though. And to be honest, the thought of my sweet little old lady patients going to somebody's basement or garage just breaks my heart. I just don't feel good about having to go back to getting my marijuana in a neighborhood from somebody that I may not know. I like to be able to go to a dispensary and try certain strains that help my specific pain issues. Okay. Well, my back has about had it. Just a little bit of Durban. I am really having uh, sciatic nerve pain. As far as pain medication, this is basically all I, I have outside of Tylenol. Oh, so I usually wait till later in the day, but, you know, needs must. <laughs> Then I get that, I call it my aha moment, like my head. It starts to, I, I feel some relief and then I feel so much better. With her pain under control, Susan and her husband head downtown to help turn out the vote as both sides make one final push.